Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. This is the Ostringer. I went the right way. Yep. It's the Ostringer hand cannon. I'm going to do a god, roll, a god roll guide on this gun before the end of Season of the Haunted, where it showed up. It's an opulent weapon. You can get this from the Derelict Leviathan. From all the activities there within and the uh, seasonal activity from Season of the Haunted, it is craftable. So you can build the one you want if you get enough of the Deep Sight Resonance versions. I'm pretty sure it's five. You gotta get five of them red border weapons and fill them out. And then you can make your own Ostringer. This is one of my favorite hand cannons in the game for PvE and PvP. It is a good all-around weapon. With the right roll, you can do both things with the same gun. And I like that. Or, you can build two of them. Because, you know, once you get the, once you get the blueprint, just build two. Build a PvE and build a PvP version. So, it's craftable. You can do it. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pick two rolls that I really like. One for PvE and one for PvP. I'll show them to you. We'll talk about them. Then I'm going to go see what the community is running. We'll look at light.gg for that. I'm using Gunsmith for this. So d2gunsmith.com. So I'll put, I'll always put those links in the description if you're ever curious. So you can go check them out. Along with my Twitch, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Facebook, my other thing, Twitter. Um, you should follow all those links and also hit the like button on this video. Because it's a good time. That's the sponsored portion. It's sponsored by me. So Ostringer Hand Cannon. I will also dig through my vault at the end of this to see if I have that god roll without even crafting it because I haven't gotten to the crafting of this gun yet. But you, you're gonna wanna, because this is one I'm pointing at it on the screen. But you're gonna wanna get that. So this is my uh, Ostringer god roll hand cannon. This is the uh, PVE ness. It's got a large PVE ness. Uh, it's an adaptive frame, which means it's well rounded, grip reliable and sturdy. I chose Fluted Barrel for stability and handling, high caliber rounds for the range bonus, and the knockback. The knockback's important. Outlaw Enhance because it gives you a greater outlaw window. I like that, and you know, we got the materials at this point. Rampage Enhance for a greater window on the Rampage, and I went with a Rampage Spec mod to enhance the window farther, up to five seconds for Rampage. That's nice. I like that. Reload Speed Masterwork to keep you in the DPS, and it has the two excess origin trait, which means final blows while your super is full, get you, get you strength and discipline. I like this gun a lot. I have quite a few different roles, or I've gone through quite a few different roles, just run through the, the Leviathan for the season. And this is the one I want. I built it out finally. I was like, yeah, yeah. I've got the ornaments too from way back in season of the, I can't remember when you could get this gun from uh, the other Leviathan activity, uh, Menagerie. Back when you can get it from Menagerie, I had this gun. It was really good. I like it a lot. It's basically a legendary Hawk Moon. It's from D1. What was that gun called? I can't remember, but you'll tell me in the comments. Don't worry, don't worry. So I, choose flu I chose Flute of Barrel because I wanted to buff stability and handling. It has really good stability anyway, but the handling was good. Could have been better. I had moved things up with high caliber rounds and the perks, so I thought high caliber with a range bonus, fluted with stability and handling, would make this a very even perk setup to go with Outlaw and Rampage. Outlaw Rampage is one of my favorite combos in all of Destiny. Now this gun already has decent reload and with Outlaw I didn't need to buff reload speed anymore so I didn't lean into it. I'd normally go Flared Magwell on a, on a hand cannon. Didn't think I need to with Outlaw so we got the reload speed with Outlaw. Just get a headshot, get the Rampage stacks, go to town and have some fun. Rampage, it's Rampage. The more kills you get the more damage you do up to I think 30%, 35%? 33.1% damage. 10, 21%, 33.1%. So, solid with two excess to give you the abilities up. Might put this on my Warlock if I ever get one and go with it. I've been doing Gambit. I don't know why. I've been doing Gambit. Should come hang out and, and just come hang out with me while I do Gambit, please. <laughs> okay, next. This is my PvP Ostringer God Roll. It's an adaptive frame weapon, which means it has a well-rounded grip. It's reliable and sturdy. We're going to hammer forge rifling. Going to lean hard into range on this one. Range and targeting adjuster. Or uh, targeting aim assist. That's what it's called. Uh, hammer forge rifling for the range. Ricochet rounds for the range and stability. And the ricochets off hard surfaces. You can go with uh, high caliber rounds if you want to. I like ricochet rounds for PvP a little bit better. Um, snapshot. I love snapshot on this gun. Snapshot and PvP to go with range finder are very nice. I didn't feel like the enhanced versions of these 
were that useful, so I didn't go with the enhanced ones since this is a craftable weapon. Uh, I went with targeting adjuster for that aim assist and a range masterwork for more range aim assist and all the good things that come with that for PvP. It has the two excess origin trait, which means you'll be getting your abilities back faster. I like it. It's a good one. It's going to be very easy to use. If you don't have a good PvP hand cannon, farm this up and craft it. It's going to take you all the way to the top 95% of PvP if you're <clears throat> not me with the slow dad hands. They're really big, though. Look how big they are. So, that's my uh, that's my PvP god roll. I like the snapshot, obviously. Went with mega range and aim assist on this one because it's already got really good aim assist. <clears throat> it's got really nice aim assist. Decent range. It's, it's a good stat weapon. Uh, they did take it from 150 to 140 back when they made that big change, but that's okay. Uh, snapshot and range finder go really well together, and I love those two for PvP. So, push the range out, snapshot, range finder. You're going to be hitting things from good distance, and it's going to feel really nice with that targeting adjuster and range master work. I like this gun a lot. So, as far as the community goes, they are... Don't look at the ads that I'm getting. I've not been looking at BMWs. Not at all. That's a Cadillac. Get out of here. All right, you can go over there. Just, just shush with the ads. So, you can see there's a lot of perks here that a lot of people like for a lot of things. The gold means they like them for PvE and PvP. The red means PvP. The blue means PvE. I'm not going to go through all of these. There's a lot. And they're all pretty good on this gun. So, if you want to get it. Some of these perks you can't get anymore because this is the uh, craftable version. Some of these perks are going to be based on the older version since it's been around twice. Uh, so, they should be grayed out if you can't get it. Or maybe you can. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really paid attention. Yeah, you can get triple tap. Okay, cool. So yeah, you can get all these perks. If you're ever curious, go to light.gg and check it out for yourself. Uh, but what the community is running... I don't understand this. Eye of the Storm Rangefinder with Ricochet and Hammer Forge. Why Eye of the Storm? Weapon becomes more accurate and boosts handling as your health gets lower. 30 handling. Cone size accuracy bigger. Okay. So I guess they figure you're going to be PvP dueling and getting shot. So getting shot is going to give you Eye of the Storm. And uh, with range finder, you're going to have a really big hitbox. I can see that. I can see why that would be useful. Outlaw and Snapshot are the other two people are using. And then Ram Rampage is over here behind range finder. Which Rampage is pretty far behind range finder. As with uh, high caliber and ricochet rounds. I like Hammer Forge. And I like Corkscrew. I like Fluted for what I liked it for. You can tell the community's doing its own thing on that one. <clears throat> Not what I'm doing. So, or I'm doing my own thing and the community's doing what it, what it does. Alright, let's check out the Ostringer in my vault. I have two of them. Let's look at this one first. This is the old one. Oh my gosh, look at this. Snapshot Rangefinder. Accurized Hammer Forge with a Range Masterwork. I need to infuse that. That is my PvP God Roll, is it not? Snapshot Rangefinder, Ricochet Hammer Forge. Snapshot Rangefinder, Ricochet Hammer Forge. Accurized Hammer Forge. Still good. Still really good. This will not have the two excess origin trait, though, since it's from Season of Opulence. Whew, got that one from Menagerie. I've been holding on to that for a while. All right, here's the only other one in my vault with opening shot, outlaw, high caliber, small bore, range masterwork. This is the closest I've gotten to a PvP. Ooh, I'm four or five on my pattern. I need to go right now because I can buy one right now and finish this and go ahead and uh, craft an Ostringer. That'd be pretty good. I could put the gambit. I've got a gambit uh, memento. I could put a gambit. I don't know. I'd rather put a crucible memento, but I don't have one. So I could put a gambit memento on it. But there you go, chat, YouTube, all the other places. I upload these things to a lot of places. If you're not on the YouTube, check out the Facebook fan page. Check out the TikTok. Check out the Instagram. If there was ever a time that I was saying shout out to death from above before things go big, this could be it. You never know. Somebody's going to clip this later and be like, hey, you remember when I said this? I did it. And I'm be like, you did a good thing, sir. Or madam. Or robot. I don't know. Chat, hit the like button before you leave. See you, bye. You got to turn on the microphone. You like my auto-tune? That was professional. <laughs> that was something. Video. Can y'all hear that? It's squeaky. I need to WD-40 that some some mic stand. Give it a little uh, a little WD-40. This. 
I tried to move my camera the other day, and then I would have been like going this, and it would not have worked as well. What if I was like this or this? That's different. That's not the same thing. Ah! Uh -uh. You ready? Sup to death from above. Will Dak get a dumb death from above suits at some man's? Will he get a hit? Find out next time on stream.